Hey, I'm Ron from Coleno and in this video I guide you through making a deposit in NetSuite, an essential step for accurately uh, recording funds deposited into your bank account. Just to be very clear, I typed it here prior to recording. You have customer deposits and deposits and the one I'm focusing on is the second, just deposits. This deposit it includes selecting payments received from existing transactions uh, adding funds not related to transaction payments and documenting any cash back received from the bank. It's important to note that many organizations allocate customer payments first to the undeposited funds ledger account uh, rather than directly to a specific bank account. And this approach uh, helps avoid discrepancies between the reported bank account balance in your books and the actual bank balance due to processing times. So really, in uh, in other terms, it's really that, yes, the payment has been triggered, but it hasn't hit your account yet. So you want it to reflect, so your balance and the customer, you stop the chasing, but you also want to know when it actually hits your account. Yeah, so when, when a deposit is recorded in NetSuite, the system automatically transfers the funds from the undeposited funds account to your bank ledger's account ensuring that your, your bank account balances are accurately reflected. However, if the customer payments are entered directly into a bank account, bypassing the undeposited funds stage, then there's no need to create deposits for these amounts. So it's only if you use the undeposited uh, flow, which is the one I would recommend to you. Be aware that if any user deletes any payment or cash sale, Tagged for deposit during the deposit creation process, NetSuite will alert with a message indicating that the record has been modified. And in those cases, having the deposit, saving the deposit is not possible because some of the data has been corrupted. And if I look here into that one, then you can see I selected an account. These amounts, these fields, they might change based on the custom form that you have. And basically, all you do after is that you select the payments and the cash sale at times deposit. So let's say your payment provider, you receive 10 payments of $100. And at the end of the week, the payment provider, your card payment provider, sends the money to your bank account. Here, you would create a deposit of 1,000, 10 times 10. And you would select all the payments that were paid in this uh, payout from your payment provider. And then you just save it here. So it's really that simple, like you fill in the fields here based on your custom form. So yours will probably var vary slightly. And then you select here the payments or cash sale. Um, and you might want to use also the cash back if you had any cash back into the deposit. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's quite straightforward and NetSuite documentation can be quite helpful here. Uh, if you want those deposits to be created automatically, because obviously if you're a large organization and you have dozens, hundreds, sometimes thousands, but even dozens is already a lot of payments in each payout deposit that you receive, you might want to automate this. And for that, I recommend that you look into Coleno, which can automatically create those payments undeposited and mark them as deposited with the deposit as soon as they are paid out on your bank account. That's it for today. Bye-bye.